to see. I'm extremely proud of every single one of you. I'm a retired fireman. I serve this nation. We need to end the war too. That's a very important issue. We need to get the boys back home. They're hurting. I am now, I, I'm a bus driver now, and I drop off these young boys at the VA hospital with no legs and no arms. But the rich do not send their own children to die. I'm fed up and I've had it. God bless you. God bless all of us. Thank you. Come out next week, please. Okay. Uh, here I've, I've noticed that there haven't been a lot of definite solutions and people aren't quite as educated on the financial system. And so that we're angry, we're upset, but we don't know where to place our anger. And I have a list of some really solid solutions that will get us back to where we once were in this nation. Number one, we should audit the Fed. We don't necessarily need to end it until we find out where our money's going. And then we can decide whether we should end the Fed. Yes. We need to bring the power of the purse back to the Congress and make them beholden to us and responsible to us. And before I continue, we have a system, and whether or not people agree with the system that we have, we have representatives that we elect. And it is our job, all look at all these people, if every single one of us would write to our congressmen and demand this list be enacted, people could take charge in this, we could actually make some real legitimate change. And that is what this is. Sorry. No! No! Absolutely, and we need to get involved power. in your local offices, the but this, this is a good list to start with, and we can talk to our congressmen and get them to start voting on doing this. Thank you folks for being here, I appreciate all your support. Take a picture, go home, read into this, and look into it, and you'll see that this is a great start to take back Wall Street from the people that stole our money. Thank you. One of the biggest things we can do here for every brother and sister is show mutual respect. And let that be the first thing that we do so that we can show we stand united. No matter what our differing opinions are, nobody here likes corruption. Nobody here likes being lied to. Nobody here likes having their money stolen. And that's what we're standing against. Hi, all you beautiful people. My name is Mike. I used to be an Army officer from 1965 to 1969. And I want to remind everyone, we need to give our governor a wonderful round of applause and a thank you. Because without his stupidity, we probably never would have had that many people out here today. And I also want you to know that I did call his office out of deep concern because there is a possibility, and I hope to hell it never happens, that his office may catch fire. So for his own safety, I suggest they begin dismantling the state capitol. Take care, guys. Hey, Mike Jack. You guys did a really great job of getting everyone off the street. My name is Vicki, and... <laughs> on my property right now in federal court. Some of you might have seen one of the, uh, the largest uh, foreclosure. A law firm been in the newspaper, Castle Star. We are scabbing, fighting them, found out they've been paying off some of our public trustees. I found out there was fraud in my documentation, and some of the biggest banks in the country have come after me with the lawsuit, with the, with the case against me, but I'm still fighting strong. And I say it again for all my enemies. I'm well known in the court systems. My name is Vicki Renee Dillard up in this piece. And, I, and I'm, I'm partnering, I'm partnering with, with CPC, Colorado Progressive Coalition. And the next week coming up, when is it? October 24th, the week of October 24th, we're having a mile high showdown, a week of action. We're gonna be doing divestment campaigns and so forth. What's the website, y'all? Come on, uh, scream it out. What's the website? www.mile-high-showdown.org We're going to have at least one action every single day. And we need you to come out in the streets with us. Yes. Let us fight. Support us. If you're out in the streets and you want your voice heard, come over here where there's a microphone and let everybody hear what you have to say. I come here for one reason, and that's because Congress sucks. Yeah. Hey, I just have some
something to say? I don't think that we should divide our movement like this. I think we have more strength in numbers, and the more people we draw away from each other, the less power that we have. So I say either get everyone here, or we should, yeah, get them together in one in one spec. Either go over there, or and we're and we're leaving everyone sitting sitting down. We're leaving them alone, and that's our brothers and sisters protest. Streets, 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 or something. Streets, streets, streets. Hello. About 10 minutes ago, I walked around and did a little survey. It was actually about 15 minutes ago. I did a survey for 10 minutes. I walked around and I talked to seven different people and only three of them let me use a permanent marker to write over their Nike swoosh on their clothing. That's all I got to say. Wake up! I don't have any Nike. All right, all right, all right, listen, uh, uh, I already spoke a couple of times, I'm going to make it real short, you know, um, all I want to say is that we should look at it and say to ourselves, I am every man and I am every woman, and we have to march shoulder to shoulder every single day and keep this going every single second when we rise up and when we lay down. Um, this is not going to go away. It's, it's going to be around for a very, very long time. This is the start that we thought we had back in 08 when so many people were so excited, you know, that they were going to see real change. But you know what, folks? We are the change that we want to make. And every single day, every single day that we do something to help our fellow man and woman on this planet and all living creatures on this planet we are making the change it's not going to happen t tomorrow next month even next year it's not going to happen with just elections i believe we got to take over the political system from the inside and from the out so if you young folks that are out there are thinking about law school think about maybe running for office dog catcher all the way to president of the united states because i'm going to live to see ms president i guarantee you that let's keep it going power to the people hello i'm an iraqi veteran I fought for this country, and I'm glad to see everybody here. We're all peaceful, protesting. This is what democracy is. Capitalism is not greed. Bombing for peace is like having sex for virginity. Power to the people. Hey, guys, I'm here for one reason. The greatest asset I've ever had in my entire life's future is at Jeopardy. Man, I, I strongly suggest that you take your money out of the federal banks and give it to your teacher's credit union. Give it to your fireman's credit union. Give it to your policeman's credit union. Take back the power from the federal level. Thank you. Hi, my name is Laura. Uh, yesterday I was sitting at the bus stop and I was talking to this lady and she had a lot of things to say about the government and from a direct quote, direct quote she said shame on Hickenlooper if he can pay millions of dollars to have all the cops come out here just to cover this then they can help us with everything that we need all right we are the people we can stand together all right don't give up hello I am uh, here and I'm down here because of a lot of reasons but one of the first reasons is because in Colorado, I'm a cannabis activist, and in Colorado, big business and big government are trying to write our constitution. The Regulate Marijuana Like Alcohol Act is big business and big government writing a constitutional amendment to, medical mar to marijuana in Colorado. And I'm here because I'm opposed to that act, and I believe that this plant should be free, because before the war on drugs, there is 140 thousand people per 100,000 put in prison. After the war on drugs, it's now 740, a sevenfold increase. And in Colorado, not in Colorado we spent 145 million dollars incarcerating nonviolent drug offenders every year. And now they're trying to say the regulate marijuana like alcohol will legalize it. It will not legalize it. It will lead to 145 million dollars being spent on nonviolent drug offenders. Yeah. And the war on drugs it's set in place 
just to imprison you. And now they're trying to write our constitutional amendment to marijuana, a plant. Do not support the Regulate Marijuana Like Alcohol Act. It is a constitutional amendment written by big business, big government, so we cannot have the power to grow this wonderful plant and change our society. I thank you all for being here, and you're a beautiful sight seeing right out of jail. I love seeing these many people when I come out because of this. Thank you. This gentleman right here was the last person dragged out of the Thunderdome on Thursday. I'll keep this short. My father protested against the Vietnam War back in the 60s. Yeah. I am here for him. I am here for my family. And I am here for the families of every American in the United States. We must not stop. We must keep going. We must keep occupying Denver, Boston, Wall Street, and every other place we can until our message is heard and carried through. Thank you. Good, good. Shot. Yeah, I'm good. Okay. I look around me and I'm reminded that two weeks ago there were a mere 50 of us standing out here. And then there were 500. And now there will be 5,000. And then 5 million. And then 50 million. Their only weapon is to attempt to divide us. This needs to be kept to one simple issue. This is the people versus our own government, which has sold us out to the corporations and big business interests. Left, right, doesn't matter. We are all here for one purpose, and we will not be silenced. I got Hicken Looper's phone number here. If anybody wants to give him a call, 303-803-8666. Two four seven one. Ask him who's he defending? Three zero three eight six six two four seven one. You can also email him governor dot hickenlooper at the state dot co dot us. Personal email. Hickenlooper's personal email. What do you think? Sound good? All right, you guys ready? Remember this, beer loop at AOL.com. Beer loop, AOL.com. Beer loop, AOL.com. Let's, let's like, let's Hick and Looper know how many of us that are really out here and what we believe in. Let him know. Hi, why did the movement split in two? I don't know. There are people over there, there are people over here. Let's stay together. Together. Right in front of everybody. Together. Thank you, that's all I had to say. They just called themselves anarchists, that's why. Uh, hi everybody, my name's Cody Parkin. How are y'all doing today? Yeah. Come on, let me hear you, Denver. I'm here today because I'm one of the 99%. I'm a father, I have a daughter who's two and a son who's four. I served in the army. I got out of the army and I don't have a job anymore. I'm trying to go to trucking school right now. I'm here because I know we need change. I know that everybody knows our world is messed up. I know that Corporations have been stealing money to line their pockets with money they don't even need. It's Caesar! All the way back down to Caesar. Everybody has always leaned on a government. I personally don't believe we need the same establishments. I believe that Earth has enough sustenance to feed the entire Earth. Amen! This is my pledge. I pledge allegiance to the Earth and all the life it supports. <clears throat> and our care, irreplaceable with liberty and respect for all. Yeah.